Hi, this is World War Prime, and it seems like my camera keeps going off for some reason. Okay, and as simple as that. Uh, Banana Republic is on a frenzy. They're losing their damn freaking minds all over the freaking place. And they again attacked another woman because of her braids. Now, I don't know about you, but I think anybody should wear any hairstyle they choose at their workplace. But the Rep Banana Republic continues to attack young women and say they got a problem with their damn braids. Okay, and it's, it's crazy. I mean, these restrictions in the hair, it's happening in schools, it's happening everywhere. And I'm telling you, man, it's going to be... It's gonna go. It's not gonna stop from there. It's just gonna get worse. <laughs> okay, on this racism tip, you start from the head all the way down to the bottom of the feet. Next thing you know, it's gonna be your skin tones. Change your skin tone, you can't go to work. Change your clothes, you can't come to work. Change uh, the way you talk, or you can't come to work. <laughs> I mean, damn. And then change you into something else. Okay, and it's something like that. Uh, let's see, I'm going to read some parts about it. It's, <coughs> it's ridiculous. And yet another example that the title is Two Urban Black ex banana Republic Employees Sues for One Million Over Discrimination. And I don't freaking blame her. Okay. Yeah, another example of hair bias against a black woman, a former African American employee at Banana Republic filed a one million lawsuit because of discrimination. Okay, Destiny Dompkins, Dunk 19, made a formal complaint in the state Supreme Court in New York Monday after she was suspended from the branch store at the Westchester Mall in white plains over her box braids last month the New York Daily News report now I do believe I reported on this one time and maybe this is the same story I'm not sure but and the story goes and the teen said her ex-manager who is white scolded her for wearing the braids that he said were too urban and unkept the manager threatened to take her off the work schedule she said in a detailed Facebook post and she didn't comply with the orders okay now you got a treat you got a you got a Facebook uh, post from her right now so today I went into the work at Banana Republic at the Westchester Mall and after the district uh, manager a white woman popped in for a visit I was told to go to the office to speak with my manager, Michael, um, Michael, Mike, who is a white man. I came in and he questioned me about dress code and immediately I thought there was a, something wrong with my outfit, but he sat me down and questioned my hair instead. She told me that my braids were not Banana Republic appropriate and that okay it was unkept for their image he said that if it didn't take them out then he could schedule me for a shift until I did when I tried to explain to him that it was a protective style for my hair because it tends to become really brittle in the cold. He recommended that I use shea butter for for it instead. I've never been so humiliated and degraded in my life by a white by a white person. In that moment I felt so uncomfortable and overwhelmed that I didn't even finish my work shift and ended up leaving. My friend's mom called the store to find out my manager last name only been working there a month, so I don't know it. He refused to give to give it to her, 
box braids are not a matter of unprofessionalism. They are a protective style black women have used for their hair and to be discriminated against because of it is truly disgusting and inappropriate. It makes the public because they need to be exposed for a blatant racism and discrimination. There's no reason why a white person should feel allowed to tell me that I can't wear my braid hair the way that I want because it's too black for the store image. Okay, too black for the store image. This is what the young lady said. And she's a decent young lady. She's a little 18, little child there. And I have never been so humiliated and degraded in my life by a white person talking rote in a moment. And I felt so uncomfortable and overwhelmed that it didn't even finish my work shift and leave it up. Basically, we got another problem with the Banana Republic. This is going to be rampant because Banana Republic is a racist, racist, racist store. Uh, I mean, damn, it's like little Germany in those fucking stores. I'm sorry because, I mean, they even have uh, white people in the Bronx. They have, they have, they even have majority white uh, people or Hispanic people working in the Banana Republic in the Bronx on Fordham Road and stuff like that. And then these cats don't hire, they don't want to see nothing black in their damn store. And she passes off. She passes off. She passes off. Uh, almost kind of white. Hold up. Let me show you. Okay, there she goes. You see that? The braids. The hair. She got in trouble for her hair. Because it becomes brittle. This is the custom of all black people since the beginning of freaking time. Uh, I don't think America is in the position to having a problem with somebody braiding their hair in this fashion. Unless she signed a contract saying that they could dis decide on what kind of hair or what kind of what kind of uh, dress code that she could wear. They have no business telling her where, what to wear, how to wear it, where to wear it. All right, you're just an employee. You're not that woman's fa father. Okay, and as simple as that. Racism getting rampant. It's creeping this little ugly head up in this country, little by little by little, like little inches, little ninches. Okay, especially in the civilian sector, little ninches here and there. Racism is just creeping. Creeping, trying to creep out of there. They're trying to get past the move that Kennedy and Martin Luther King accomplished. Just creeping in there. In stores and stuff like that. And I hope she get that lawsuit. Because that shit is fucking ridiculous. You're going to get, you're going to, this country, this, 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 this store is going to lose a million dollars because of a fucking hairstyle. Okay? The woman is not even freaking, um, <laughs> She's not even freaking black. She's Dominican, I think. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, she's black, but you know, Dominicans are black, but you know what I'm saying? But that's how it is. That's how it is. It's getting a little fucking ridiculous. Racism is a ridiculous concept. I mean, really. You know, racism is only 400 years old. It started in this country and then going worldwide. Nobody knew about racism until until to the slave trade all right and that slave trade is still going on they ain't know nothing about no racism and nothing like that or hatred of another race or anything like that every race they doing his own his own their their own colony or wherever they go they had to go or wherever they was living but now racism is just rampant around the world isn't it? biggest money maker and I hope it be a million money maker for this young lady I'm World War Prime signing off